we want to touch people emotionally somehow. I, I think that's that's the power of music. And if you can do that, that's when you know you've got it right. So after October the 22nd, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> since Duran Duran released their debut self-titled album. They would go on to sell over 100 million records and dominate the music charts. The group is hoping to celebrate with their fans who were there since day one, but bring in a new audience with their new album, Future Past, out now. We're thrilled with this record, so we're super happy to have it out there. You know, we make music first for ourselves because we have to feel confident in what we've done to go out and play it to people and to, to have it existing from then onwards. Uh, but afterwards, we, we're really trying to connect with people. The group began working on their 15th studio album in late 2018, worked on it a little bit during 2019, but production had to stop in 2020 for almost a year because of the pandemic. With the release finally here, they are celebrating a number of milestones. The song Anniversary, like the lyrics are actually celebrate anniversary. The album's called Future Past. How much, because you have so many milestones in your career and you will have so many more, do you actually kind of reflect on the past? Are you the person that lives in the moment or looking ahead to the future? Well, I like to look ahead to the future, which I think everybody in the band does mostly. But I have to say for the first time, once we reached this 40 year milestone, we did all sort of look at each other and say, well, it is a reason to celebrate actually. We've managed to make it through this far. We're still making albums that we like together. We're still friends. You know, we don't, very often do self-referential things. In fact, I can't really think of anything before anniversary. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.